is take 3000 of the $4,000 that the property is generating, add it to your income. So now you make $4,500 a month, and that's way more than affordable for a $2,500 mortgage. You actually have $2,000 left over. And they didn't even factor in the extra $1,000 from the 75%. There's another 25%, which is $1,000 that's not even factored into that number. So that's way more than enough for you to afford that property now, as opposed to you going to get a single family home, there is no income. So you could afford what you could afford out of your own pocket. But when a property is generating income already, they'll take what the property is generating, add it to your income. Wow. So in your experience, because your first property was a multi-unit, would you suggest that people look more into a multi-unit versus a single family all day? All day. He's like all day. <laughs> Second property is multi-units. Like, hell yeah. yeah. Because it just, it allows you to, it frees up your, your personal income that you have coming in that you work for, as opposed to you working for your money. Now you have to go and pay your mortgage. On top of your mortgage, you have all of your other expenses, your car, your monthly bills, your kids, et cetera. So now, instead of all of that being the case, you reverse that. So now you go and get this property. The property pays you. Your job pays you. You know what I mean? Right. You keep all of this money and you're living for free. So now you essentially don't have any bills because your job and your property are paying for your car, et cetera. And you're going to have a lot of money left over at the end of it all, trust me. But that's not money for you to keep and play with. You keep investing that money into your property to make sure that your property is, is in good standards and your tenants are living up to, you know what I mean, up to their standards and everything is good. And then every so often at the end of the year, after you file your taxes, you see what's what, you know what I mean? You go take you a vacation or whatever the case may be. But the main thing with this is freedom because at the end of it all, you're going to have a property that's appreciated in value. You didn't really pay anything for it in whatever you did put down. And let's say you put the 20% down on it. Mm -hmm. After about 10 years, you've, you've recouped all of your money through rent payments. You've recouped that back. So now you're just in the green. You know what I'm saying? Right. In 30 years or 20 years, when you sell this property, that's all profit. That half a million dollars or $700,000 because it's going to appreciate in value more than likely. So let's say that half a million turned into 700,000. So now you've collected rent for 30 years. <laughs> no telling what that number is because you get to go up every year on your rent, $25, $50, whatever you're comfortable doing. So you're giving yourself a raise every year. So you have this cash flow coming in every month on top of somebody else paying your mortgage, on top of the property appreciation, on top of the tax deductions and all of that cool shit that you get on the back end when it comes to, you know what I mean, you filing your taxes and your accountant doing their work. 